Hi everyone, it's Teacher Janelle. I hope you're having a great day. At my house the last few days, the weather has changed a lot. Last week, it was very, very hot. And just a few weeks ago, I read a story about a frog caster and we filled out a weather chart. We said that it was spring and that our weather was sunny and warm. But today, the weather is very, very different and it might be different at your house too. I'm gonna turn my camera around so you can see outside my window. There are my boys, they're being silly outside. They wanted to wave at you. But if you can see, it's not sunny outside and it's not very clear. Where I live today, it is still spring, but instead of it being sunny and warm, I would say that it's actually cloudy and on and off today, it's even rainy. I want you to remember that just like the weather changes, our feelings change too during the day. It's been fun to have it be rainy a little bit because I actually like the rain. And it reminded me of a book I had about a raindrop. The book is called A Raindrop's Journey. The author is Suzanne Slade and the illustrator is Holly Conger. Remember, the author is the person who writes the words of a story, and the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures. This story is all about a raindrop. Rumble, rumble, crash, boom. Dark, angry clouds gather. Lightning streaks across the sky. But in the middle of this large storm, something very small and very special is happening too. A raindrop begins to form. The raindrop in my story likes to talk. And so he's gonna say some silly things. And on this page he says, hang on, this is just the beginning. Drip, drip, drop. The water drop hurls toward the earth with thousands of other raindrops. A bright ray of sunlight shines through the drops and creates a beautiful rainbow. Nice reading. Hey guys, look what we made. Orange, you cute. Violet is so my color. Plop. The raindrop lands on a smooth rock. It trickles down the hill and joins millions of other drops in a small stream. The stream twists, turns, winds, and wanders. Then it empties into a wide river. <coughs> rollin', rollin', rollin' down the river. This raindrop can sing. He's pretty talented. Roar! I'm Super drop! The drop doesn't even see what's coming next. It soars over the edge of a rocky cliff and becomes part of an amazing waterfall. Splash! The drop makes a spectacular landing. It bounces across the churning water, then flows into a huge peaceful lake. But the drop doesn't rest there for long. Ah, time to kick back and relax. Does anybody want to look and see what's happening to my drop and make a prediction about what's going to happen next? Let's see. Swoosh! A large pipe pulls the drop out of the lake and rushes it to the water treatment plant. This looks awesome. The drop gets tossed into the tanks and squeezed through the filters. It goes like this, it's like a little maze. Once the drop is squeakly clean, it moves through another pipe, up, up, up to a tall tower. Now the drop must wait, but what is it waiting for? Gurble, gurgle. Finally, the long wait is over. The drop flows through lots of smaller pipes, up, down, all around, and into a house. Psh! 
The drop gushes out of a faucet and lands in a glass. Uncle Drip, where have you been? Hi, Squirt. Oh, just chilling in the freezer. His uncle was an ice cube. It's silly. Gulp, gulp, gulp. A big thirsty mouth drinks the drop right down. Everything turns dark. Then the drop feels hot, hotter than hotter still. Suddenly, it pops through the boy's skin onto his forehead. Sweat. Whoa, that was an amazing trip. Splat. The drop falls off the boy's face and lands onto the hot pavement below. In the blazing sunlight, the drop starts to feel strange, very strange. The sun's heat turns the drop into a watery vapor. The warm watery vapor drifts over the boy above the house and into the wide open sky. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. The water vapor gathers in a cloud and condenses into a droplet. A strong wind pushes the cloud northward. The air gets colder and the water drop begins to feel strange again. Then something truly amazing happens. <coughs> the drop changes into a, do you have a guess? It changes into a snowflake. The snowflake floats to the earth, ready to start another exciting journey into the water cycle. Here we go again. See you around the cycle, buddy. And that's the diagram of what happens to a raindrop. Just to review, the raindrop we read about started off in a cloud. And then it turned into a raindrop. It went into a stream into a river, into a waterfall, into the lake, into the water treatment plant, into the water tower, and into a drinking glass, into a person's body, turned into sweat, which then turned into water vapor, which then turned back into a snowflake. The journey of water is pretty cool. Before I go today, I thought I would play a game with you. It's one of the favorite games I know you have at school and it's my missing number game. So I'm gonna turn my computer down and we're going to count one to 10. Here we go. Count with me, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I move my computer just a little bit so you can see all the numbers. Now, close your eyes and there's no peeking. And I'm gonna take one of the numbers away. Close those eyes. Okay, open your eyes. What number is missing? If you said number five, you were right. Right in the middle, it was missing. Okay, close your eyes one more time. Keep them closed. Okay, open your eyes. What number is missing? You said number two, you were right. It goes here at the beginning, right after number one. Okay, everybody close your eyes. Okay, open your eyes. What number is missing? You said number nine, you are right. And do you remember the fun thing about number nine? If you turn it upside down, it can look like number six. They're very tricky. So you've gotta be very, very careful. Or my son just said they also can look like a P or a B. <laughs> 
All right, one more time. Everybody close your eyes. Okay, now open your eyes. What number or numbers is missing? If you said number one and number 10, you were right. Good for you. Boys and girls, I really liked playing the number game with you. And I thought before I left today, we would do one more special game. And it's a game about patterns. My raindrops are either dark blue or light blue. And I thought we could look at the pattern that our numbers make. So I'm gonna turn my computer down again and we're gonna say the pattern. It goes dark blue, light blue, dark blue, light blue, dark blue, light blue, dark blue, light blue, dark blue, what do you think comes next? If you said light blue, you are right. But I thought maybe today you'd be up for a challenge. Are you up for a challenge today? I'm gonna do a different pattern and turn my camera down one more time. What if I were to do two dark blues and one light blue? and two dark blues and one light blue. So let's do it one more time. It says two dark, dark blue, dark blue, light blue. Dark blue, dark blue, light blue. Dark blue, what comes next? If you said dark blue, you are right. Now, I've got one more that I want to do with you. Dark blue, dark blue, light blue, light blue. Dark blue, dark blue, light blue, light blue. What do you think comes next? Dark blue, dark blue, light blue, light blue. Dark blue, dark blue, light blue, light blue. If you said dark blue, you are right. I think it is so fun playing with patterns. And if you make a pattern with something, it can be your blocks, or it could be toys, or it could be nature. If you make a pattern with something, I would love to see it either on our class Padlet or you can email it to me. Teacher Janelle misses you so much and I look forward to seeing you again on video soon. Bye-bye.